a quick video on how to rig your electric 4x4 system on an F-150. Uh, this one's a 97, should be the same all the way up to 2003. Um, the problem that I was having that I'll switch the switch back and forth, I wouldn't get anything, no clicking sound, no light on the dash, no, no anything whatsoever. Checked all the fuses, checked the little solenoids, all that stuff, everything checked out fine. Uh, my only other options was going to be the uh, some solenoid that's over there behind the dash, which you got to take the whole dash out to get to it, or the GEM, I think it's called, some computer that controls windows and all the other electrical stuff inside the cab. And I didn't want to mess with that either since it's just a little get around truck, but I sometimes need the 4x4 system to work. It's not essential. I'm still not even done tucking the wires and everything. I just got done wiring it up and just got it tested everything to this little switch right here that is actually called a double throw double polarity switch which took me some some research on, on getting well it's a lot of common sense too on, on how this stuff works uh, but let me just show you right here on the transfer case motor what I did I also tested the motor before before I did this know that the motor wasn't wasn't my problem motor right here this is the actual motor itself this piece right here this is kind of just a little sensor that sends a signal to the GEM and what position the transfer case is in and lights up the dash uh, there's only two wires that actually go into the motor basically I just sliced those two wires scooped up something ran it into the cab Just run it into the cab to this little switch right here. Uh, the switch actually goes up, middle, and down. Basically, I have up that'll put it in four wheel drive low. I put it down, it puts it in two wheel drive high. Uh, I would show you the back of the switch, but it's just a mess of wires back there, which wouldn't really help. So I made a little, a little sketch of what all this looks like, basically. Um, this is the switch. You gotta have six poles on the back of it. Again, it's called a double throw switch. They don't have it at, um, well, at least right here in Arlington, Texas, they don't have it at AutoZone, they don't have it at Pet Boys, they don't have it at O'Reilly. I had to go straight to a Home Depot to, to find it. And here's the little sketch. Here's the transfer case motor. You only have two wires. Those two wires, you basically just plug them into one side of the, the switch could be either one it doesn't matter like just has to be on, on one of the two ends uh, the middle you just got to have power and ground and after that the only thing has to be they, they have to be crossed to each other the two ends they just get crossed um, it's not hard but it's not the simplest thing either uh, definitely whenever you try this make sure on the positive side you have a fuse going to uh, a fuse going to it in case you mess something up and you won't burn your truck up or something like that. Um, basically, that's that's all I can tell. Just take a good look at that little little drawing. I know it's not the best. Uh, how it operates? I mean, I already tested. I wouldn't be making this video if I hadn't already tested it. Uh, you can hear whenever you click into uh, too low. You hear the transfer case pop. There it goes. Once it pops, you just put it back in the middle. Whenever you're ready back to two-wheel drive, well, basically you gotta have the, the truck on neutral to actually get it to, to engage all the way. To get it out, you just go down, and I guess you count to five. You'll hear it too whenever it clicks, whenever it engages. You'll also hear whenever it engages. There you go. Once it engages, you just put it back in the middle and you're on four low. You ready to wheel drive, just press down. You hear it click out. And there you go, you're on too high. Um, this won't help you engage all the, the front differential and stuff, but there is plenty of videos that explain that in detail, how to check all that little system over there. Uh, basically what I did, a lot of people is gonna hate this video because they, this is, definitely just rigging all this stuff just getting it to work but like I said I'm, truck is not really that important 
it's not a daily driver and I like stuff simple where I can always just troubleshoot any any little problem any anything that goes wrong with it uh, you have these two right here one switches the thing to be disengaged one switches to be engaged so basically I just swap these two just put the ones on this side to this one to have it engaged all the time if you're not going to be using your 4x440 you can actually just put them back the normal way and, and you're good but I mean if you have any questions on that I mean this should be simple I understood the whole system over here pretty good I just couldn't figure out the the electrical side of the transfer case and why it wasn't switching or doing anything that, that I needed it to do again here's my little my little sketch I mean this I think I should have just put the line to go in between over here to where you just put a wire just bridge it right here but, but that is everything and it works perfectly fine